So in one of Krunker's biggest updates that they've had in a while, they actually remade some of the old maps that we love. And of the maps, they remade Berg and Oasis. And I never really gave my opinion on them um, other than saying that the update was a great thing to have. It was definitely refreshing. I think everyone loved it. But as for the maps themselves, I'm just going to go through them and kind of just give you guys my uh, my two cents on them and what I think about them. And uh, yeah. So yeah, this is Berg if you haven't played it already. Just from instantly loading up, I can just tell that this map is so much better and so much cooler. And it's just a lot more lively than the last Berg. The last Berg felt like I was in like a fever dream and I was just in a depressive state. But this one's actually pretty cool. Now you'll notice this main place is like closed off. And I, I really do like this. I think this area is shaded off, but it's also like the center for fighting. And even though that was the same in the old Berg, there was a huge crate right here and it just didn't feel the same unless that's like a really og part of berg that i'm just forgetting I'm, i might be losing my mind here but this definitely feels way more open the different lanes feel like they flow way better for this center area and i think they killed it whoever made this map i think they killed it as for like the aesthetic and the stuff around oh junk so as for the aesthetic around the map i mentioned before that the buildings are a lot higher and you can just feel like you're actually in a castle now i don't know what the last berg was supposed to be like but i remember the very old versions was kind of like this there was just very tall castle like structures with these different symbols obviously it was a it was a different symbol than this uh this crest but this feels like an a, there's an actual theme to it i i feel like i'm actually in an old medieval castle and i really do love this i also love this area a lot better this used to be closed off and it just felt like hell uh, honestly and it, it wasn't like uh that place over there now it just felt I don't know. It just felt weird to go in there. And as for this area, there's less of a, it feels like there's less of an incline on this ramp. This could just be me spitting bullshit. I don't know, but it feels like it's a lot easier to just kind of go up this way and instantly transition into this instead of having to take some really sharp turns around this. You can just straight up see that corner right there. And as for this area over here, um, I, I really do like this. I like this back barn area. I know there's a point right here, so it kind of gives them a bit of an advantage if you're on it. But my favorite part is probably this little awning right here how you can easily be hop back and forth and get onto this spot i remember it was a little difficult uh, to get onto this if you weren't going up this little ramp here and then be hopped up here now it can make it possible so you can just easily come right here and transition up so it just creates better flow i think that's kind of the, the thing that they hit very well on this map is they made the flow a lot easier and they just made the map so much more beautiful now if you guys didn't really realize this this map is pretty much based off of dust 2 uh uh, and it, it has changed over the years, but it used to be almost an exact copy. Um, this is obviously a long, so the bomb site would be around here. And it's obviously not beat for beat now because the game has changed so much. But it's based off of that. I think it's pretty fair to say that this map is based off of that map. But yeah, overall, I think everyone was happy about this map. It's the same map that we all know and love, but it's just, it's refreshed. And uh, I think they, they really did a great job. Whoever made the map and uh, whoever decided it should be added into the game, great job. I will give you a kiss. Next off, we got Oasis. And this map didn't change as much as uh, the last uh, map, Berg. However, the biggest change i think is this spawn um it's just it's just not here anymore if you haven't noticed it's completely gone this was probably the most easy spawn trap spot in the entire crunker game but other than that there hasn't been too many changes this spawn changed a bit and this center totem kind of moved around as well as this spawn but other than that there's not like any striking difference okay as i say this i'm seeing more differences this is opened and uh this is obviously just an open area now for the design of this map i'm not hating it I, i'm not like trying to shit on it but i i don't know it just feels kind of weird especially in this room some of the textures just don't i don't know they just don't seem right there isn't that like good homey feeling i know this light is is dope as fuck there's also this weird uh slide shit here i don't really know what they're uh i mean that's kind of cool but yeah i don't know the textures just seem a little off especially in this room once you get out here it's not as bad maybe it's this light kind of this light shade uh it's kind of like a tan color and this kind of goes with it i don't know it just seems a little too tan it just doesn't it doesn't seem like a temple color this is more tan than orange if that even makes sense however other than that uh nothing too too insane has changed however there's something that uh a lot of people haven't checked out and probably don't know about now i actually saw a video uh and i'll link it down in the description of where i'm talking about this but there's actually an easter egg and you can open this coffin up which is pretty cool so right as you spawn in the game there's gonna be a thing right there you just have to shoot that one and then you come over here to this little coffin 
again. Little shit. There's going to be a thing back there. Hopefully, I can get this next one, but it's behind one of these palm trees. Let me just grab the junk. Probably grab it right there. There we go. The next one is in this uh, temple room. It's all the way in the back here. Hopefully, I can shoot it. There it is. And then the last one is on the coffin. And you do have to be speedy about this because they despawn. And then you just shoot this last one. And then bada bing, bada boom. You have uncovered an ancient secret. What will you get when you touch it? Um, you'll get a loadsome disease. Um, I know you can't see it, but every, I think it's five or 10 seconds, you take 10 damage. But if there were people in this game and if I had friends, um, every time I kill them, I would regain 10 health. So it's like a risk reward kind of deal. Just something cool in the game. I'm probably going to die here in a couple seconds. You can see my health is going down, but just something cool that the map makers made. And I think this something like this should be added to every map in some way. It'll just add like a new level of fun and maybe some new challenges for people to do. But yeah, overall, I, I like both of the remakes. I think that they were something that everyone kind of wanted um where we just weren't expecting all of that at once i guess i felt like there was a period before that where it was just kind of like nothing and then the, this semi-huge update and it was like oh okay thanks <laughs> thanks guys like we appreciate that it was just kind of like we weren't expecting it now compared to their old versions i think that the newer berg that they just put in the game is is way better than the old berg not only is it really good looking but i think the lanes flow better and overall it's just a better map it's an improved version of the map with oasis i do see that there are functions that have made the map better but the design i don't know i'm not i'm not digging it doesn't mean like everyone else can't and i'm sure there's a lot of people that really enjoy it i just personally like the old one better it just seems a lot smaller and uh, a little bit more clustered maybe it's just the placebo of just the different designs on the wall i don't know but i will say that easter egg is something that is pretty cool especially it gives you a buff and a debuff at the same time and it's could give some people some ideas for uh, some uh, videos. They also added a completely new map, which I could review in the future if you guys want to see that. Uh, there won't be much said about that, so I don't know if I can make that into a full video. I'll have to do like an in-depth review on that. But yeah, so far it seems like everyone really likes the changes. They really like the updates. There was, unfortunately, an argument on Twitter. I don't know if anyone else saw that. Um, I'll leave a link to Big Lewis's video. He pretty much does a, a good job explaining what they were talking about. But just to sum it all up, uh, people were upset not at the update itself, but more upset at how they delivered it. A lot of people made the case that just because a lot of people were making the video uh, or videos just about complaining how there's no content in the game and there's just a lack of content, lack of update, and it's just kind of coincidental that this huge update comes out of nowhere. It seemed for a lot of people that they had this in their back pocket for a while and they were trying to save this for an even larger update and they just had to release it. I don't know what they decided to do or what actually happened. I like to give them benefit of the doubt because it is their game we can't decide what they want to add into the game we can only say what we want and it's up to them to add it or not but yeah other than that there was just some minor shit just people whining about oh my gosh this map stinks bring back the old map dude shut up it's something new be happy uh, if not go play a different game fuck off but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for today hope you guys are having a great weekend and i'll see you guys later